Hi, it's Sharon again. Hi. And in this video, I'll be sharing some um, other resources that you can try to help you um, adapt more as easily as possible to the clocks changing um, this spring. So my number one tip in this section is to, first of all, just absolutely acknowledge that it is tiring, you know, just give yourself permission, you know, to feel tired, you know, um, today, tomorrow, the next few days, it could be a week, you know, just however long it takes you just to kind of catch up, you know, um, with this um, imposition of time, um, just acknowledge it. And just, uh, you know, I think in our society, we're often, um, we're not encouraged to feel our fatigue, to feel our tiredness. It's, it's uh, this mentality of we have to keep pushing through. Um, that of itself creates fatigue in the body. So, um, so first and foremost, I would encourage you just to accept that you're going to feel tired for the next week. Okay. Also, also, or however long it affects you. So that's that's the first thing. Um, the next thing is to um, consider going to bed about half an hour earlier than you would normally this evening, and you know, for the rest of the week, just to kind of try and catch up that lack of that, you know, that hour, hour of sleep that we've uh, missed um, without going into all the science behind it. I mean, but the, the knock on effect of that is just massive through the body. Um, so just kind of give yourself, you know, the opportunity just to literally say you normally go to bed at say 11 tonight, just go, OK, half 10, that's it, I'm off to bed. Um, and just kind of give yourself that opportunity, you know, for the rest of the week, you know, and that will really help as well um, to just help with that, to catch up with some of that fatigue and uh, some of that impact on, on, on your body clock. And um, the third thing is to, um, there's another Jin Jin Jitsu flow I'd like to share with you that's also helpful. And um, this one involves, you take one hand and you place it in the middle of the neck, just find a really comfortable hold. So that's that same side neck, just, comfortably place it there you don't need to press or massage or squeeze but just create a little hold there the hand that's free I invite you just to you be able to see this but I'm just placing it on my same side rib cage at the front of the ribs <sighs> dropping the shoulders and breathing out and when you do this for yourself just feel how it feels you know just just allow yourself just to you know connect with your body and just feel that sort of effect, you know, for, for you, for you, how that feels for you. What you what we're doing here is we're holding safety energy lock number 12. And that's all about surrendering and letting go and just allowing and accepting things to be as they are. So that's all about surrendering. The 14, which is on the rib cage, um, this one helps us to just stay in balance. It's all about being being in balance, being in harmony with ourselves. Um, when we do this together, what we're doing is we're helping giving the body a real feeling of equilibrium, balance, harmony. And that's because that's the thing that's been, you know, sort of affected mostly. OK, and if you want to swap sides, just take one hand to the, as I say, the middle of the neck. You know, and you don't have to be precise about it. You don't have to think, oh, where, where exactly is it? Um, because already in Jin Jin Jitsu, we say that the body is precise. Um, and we're just simply allowing the hands to just, you know, find that comfortable space in the middle of the neck. And the hand that's free, once it just comes to the rib, rib cage, front of the ribs. Oh, you can, and you cannot get this wrong when you're doing this on yourself. Okay, so I hope that's helpful. Um, let me know how you get on with this, how it feels for you. Um, in terms of how long to spend doing this, it's it's really up to you. You could spend five minutes, maybe maybe just try five minutes, and then on one side, and then just try five minutes on the other side. If you want to go ten minutes each side, that's fine. Um, the most important thing with Jin Jin Jitsu when we do this for ourselves is just to do whatever feels comfortable for us. Um, and uh, there's no right or wrong. It's just literally about giving ourselves that gift of time and care. All right. OK, I hope that's been helpful. And uh, let me know how you got on. OK, bye for now.